Welcome to another Lumion tutorial. This is Chris Welton from C. Welton Design. In this tutorial, we're going to go over the real-time preview that comes out in Lumion 10. I can't wait to showcase in this tutorial in depth how accurate they've gotten this in, in the preview window versus the end product. And I'm going to show off some diverse examples, some interiors, some exteriors, some different types of scenes, and hopefully be able to sell to you how awesome this feature is. So let's go ahead and jump right into this. Okay, so we're gonna start right here with our example exterior scene and see how this high quality preview can be utilized and what its effect on exterior scenes and other situations are. So let's first take a look at where we can find this scene, how it works, where we turn it on and off and let's we have to preview it in photo or movie mode here they say it works in 3d 360 panorama too but um so here is our scene right here and we have a lot of effects already set up and the big one that we are unable to see right now that really affects the overall look is skylight Skylight was introduced in 8 and took Lumion to another level of visual quality with some much better light rendering and shadows that really bring life into it. But we couldn't preview it before. So I'm going to click on my scene right here. This is what Lumion is previewing. And to see what Skylight would actually do, we would have to render it out and watch. There's Skylight right there. So I have it actually off automatic right now. So I have to click in the scene to see what happens. And as you're seeing right now, the, chain, the scene has changed pretty dramatically in this, in this case. And sometimes even more dramatically this can happen. And that is what it's giving us. It's gonna do 16 little passes there and get a pretty decent, a pretty accurate and decent preview. It's not perfect to what's going to be rendered, but it it gets the coloring. It it lights up. It lights the areas up that skylight works on, so we know what's going to be happening. We don't have to guess, and it works pretty quick. This is a pretty heavy scene in some ways. Got a couple ultra trees going on in here, and it works pretty quickly. I've had I've tested on some really heavy scenes, and it's really not too bad. But notice that I have the preview technically off. What that means is I go around and I have to click inside here, just as it says right here, to get that preview. I, I kind of like this because a lot of my scenes are very heavy and it could be maybe an annoyance to have it constantly updating on me. It's, it's still not too bad, but I'm glad they gave us this option. So let's turn on automatic where, and I'm going to show you where we can find that. So we're going to settings here. And it's one of our toggles right here. Just like we can disable high quality trees with F9, they've added this one and it's set to F6. So I'm gonna turn that on. And now when I go around and I let go, everything stopped, it's going to automatically do it for me. We're gonna move over here. Say we wanna reshoot this angle right here. Reframe it and then bam, it's going to do it automatically. It says it right here. Preview will automatically update, and when it's done updating, it says preview has been updated. So we're getting a pretty accurate rendition right here. So let's go ahead and put that to the test and see how close Lumion has been able to, to get this high quality preview to the final result. So I'm going to start right here. I have all of these pre-rendered and we're going to compare some screenshots. But just so you see everything on the screen happening, you don't see any Photoshop wizardry going on to try to <laughs> oversell it. No need to do that. It works incredibly well and we're going to do it right here on camera. So we're going to start right here in photo one. Just make sure that's updated again. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the this tool in Windows to get a screen capture to save the viewport and what's been 
rendered right there. I'll call this preview. And I'm gonna go ahead and render this one shot right here, just 1080p. Render. It'll just take a little bit. There's a lot of effects going on. So let's go ahead and sit through this. And I think I'm also going to do is, for the heck of it, let's just capture a non-previewed one too to compare. So it's doing 16 passes for 1080p. And this wait time here, though, I mean, it's Lumion, it's fast, it's, it's really fast to get stills out. But on heavy scenes, it could be a minute or so to get to get a shot out. And that's how long it used to take. It used to take this long to get an idea of what Skylight was going to do, what our rendered shot was actually going to look like. It was a little frustrating. I'm really glad. I know Lumion worked hard to get this to, to work correctly, and they've gotten it really close. Okay, so I'm going to... The next ones are going to be smoother, but I'm going to try opening both of these and sticking them on the same shot. Okay. Wow, I didn't spell that correctly, but... Preview and render. I mean... That's near identical. <laughs> and especially where it counts. I mean, you see a final rendered quality. The, the grass looks a lot better than the preview. Preview looks chunkier, but we're not even looking at that. Just the overall lighting levels over here. It, it really captured. It captured what the coloring does. So didn't make it up it works really well it gets us at least 80 to 90 percent there and that's a long way from you know from this that orange hue uh, let's disable that really quick with f6 that orange hue right there that looks way different than that so Instead of misleading us now, Lumion is going to give us a very close rendition. Excellent. Okay, so like I stated before, I'm going to do this a little more cleanly with the power of some video editing. I'm going to go ahead and click on these guys, turn on automatic preview. Alright, from this to rendered shot. Let's move on to this one. Similar lighting, different angle, to rendered. Another angle, similar lighting, compared to the render. Now we have some exteriors. Oh, I love that. Excellent scene setup to render. Everything's orange. Oh, it's all balanced because of that skylight effect. Now we have a different lighting situation here. Compared with the render. Here's another one. Compared to the render. Here's this situation, this one, different lighting, same angle. And last one here. Another similar lighting angle. Or similar lighting situation compared to the render. So there was nine examples right there, and, and as you can see for yourself, Lumion got us very close. Excellent. This makes things a lot easier. So let's take a look at something again really quick, just to reiterate what this is doing. So if I turn off Skylight, when I click on the window to preview, it still does something. I, I, I'm kind of been saying that it only is doing sky, Skylight. It's refining a couple little things. I don't actually know specifically what. Let's go back to disable that. I think it gives us some more fine, um, accurate shadows and details. But it's Skylight is the star here. And let's I'll go ahead and open up Skylight. So the big, 
the big setting here that really threw things off was the saturation. If you had this too high, everything got very blue and you couldn't tell. And many times in animations or other things, you'd look at it and like the color balance that you established with color correction and other effects and lighting was thrown off. So now we can adjust this slider and instantly see what it's doing. Have it completely off. Again, it's not just blue in the scene. This brightness is doing quite a lot. That's what's really, let's, let's try it again here. Saturation normal. And we're just seeing these areas that were just not really visible too well brightened up. And that's what the skylight effect does. All right, now that we got that cleared, I'm gonna show some examples, um, some other examples of when skylight, this preview will really stand out. So I'm gonna take a look at this angle right here. And what I have set up here is a reflection plane, planar reflections set up, obviously reflecting our facade of this building, this house right here. Because there is one toggle up here that does matter. I was just playing with these two sliders. We do get previews of those, but we do have a couple toggles in here and the render quality set up here. I'll tell you that none of these matter it's basically going to be set to a low quality normal in the preview. So if we set this to ultra, it's not going to give us a better preview, just so you know. And from what I've been told, projected reflections won't do anything but planar will. So in this example here, planar reflections with this toggle on means that Lumion is going to be rendering skylights on the building and also on the reflection of the building, which is actually the building rendered twice. So if I turn it on and off again, you see a lot more of an orangish tinge in the reflection. But if I turn it on, it turns to blue. It's, it's very subtle, but I wanted to point that out. I'll just do this screen capture right here. And then we'll switch it to off. So as you can see, the blueing is, is showing up in the reflection here versus in here, it's still very orange. So I want to cover all our bases here on, on the high quality effect and there's just a minor little detail in there. So move on, moving on to another example here, what really helps the high quality preview stand out is a lot of this detailing and these crevices and now we get a much better rendition in the high quality preview of what Skylight does to our, Skylight does to a lot of different angles and, and, and a lot of parts of our scene. And also these incredible fine detail nature trees we got you know, it looks really good here. We got a bunch of leaves here, but when we click on the preview, we see a lot more things going on. I'm seeing the subsurface scattering and different layering of the leaves make a big difference. And that's what they'll look like rendered. All right, so that covers it for our exterior look at this. Now I'm gonna switch to another model to showcase what this does for interiors. Okay, so here is an interior scene where we can test out high quality preview and how well it does on interiors. Interiors, of course, come with their own challenges, especially with Lumion and trying to diffuse light correctly and really capture a lot of these things without direct light from the sun. Skylight does an excellent job of this and it is definitely needed to really capture a lot of this, but if we can't see it, it's difficult to work with. But now we can. So set up in here, we have all these effects on and especially skylight. We set up and we're seeing skylight in action here. Look how much it affects a lot of those details and the rafters in this scene just didn't even exist before. It was just 
ambiently lit. A um, little thing we could play with here too, you turn on the styrofoam effect and you're really seeing the lighting that Skylight is doing. It's definitely a good way of practicing and understanding what Skylight is doing for your scene. Just go ahead and flip on styrofoam effect, really helps you balance your light and shadows. We have a couple different lighting situations in here too. We can kind of take a look at compared to their renders. It's definitely just lighten up areas that are real time just kind of either have washed out or just no detail in. Creates much more accurate and photorealistic lighting uh, dispersion throughout. And look at this night scene. We have some something bright going on that's lighting the side, but this whole wall is dark. The rafters are dark, but when we take a look at what the skylight is doing, all of a sudden we can see everything on that wall. So just a little testament of everything that skylight does for our scenes. In an interior, working with that specific shot at night in this upper loft here, it's really hard to frame that. Now we can see what Lumion is capable of bringing out and where we can where we can better stage our scene. So incredible, incredible this effect. Um, very excited to see what we can do with this effect now, how we can maximize the skylight effect, seeing exactly what it does without having to sit there in a couple minute renders to see what's going on. I'm very happy that this has been brought back. Lumion is now, again, fully real time and able to see everything with pretty much instant feedback. That's what I left to come into Lumion was having to hit a render button and wait a couple minutes just to be, no, 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 that's not right, adjust. Again, another couple minutes, it starts to come into view. Oh, nope. That was the world that I left coming into Lumion and didn't look back. Seeing Skylight was amazing. So started to see it kind of almost go that direction. I'm so glad that Lumion has added this and taken us back into that real-time feedback and editing. It saves so much time. It's such a better way. Okay, so that about covers it for high-quality preview. One of my favorite and most effective additions to Lumion 10, in my opinion. All right, so I have a couple more topics coming with Lumion 10. If you'd like to take out, take a look at this. Um, each one is going to be going in depth. We're going to get all of the features in there, and this was just high quality preview. So check out my channel for other tutorials, and thanks for watching, guys. Until next time.